New Jersey offers COVID-19 tests to anyone who wants one. This as officials continue to reopen different segments of the state. But for some, the recovery is still not fast enough. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is in South Jersey with more on that and the rest of today's headlines. Cleve. Well, I know people are hoping each day to hear more things reopen. Nothing reopened today, but the governor talked about there being more testing capacity so that anyone who wants a test can get one, and some are hoping that opens up the doors for more activities. If you need to be tested, go out and get one. Now one month into his recovery plan for New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy says the state's COVID-19 testing capacity has exceeded expectations, with as many as 30,000 people receiving tests on a single day last week. Health officials say now as many people as want to be tested can go right ahead, especially those in urban and minority communities. This is how we can best measure our public health and how we can get the data we need to take the steps into stage two of our restart and recovery and beyond. So far, Murphy has restored many outdoor activities like going to the beach, parks and camping, and he's eased restrictions on outdoor gatherings, including graduation ceremonies. But there is growing unrest to expand activities for children. It's been very frustrating just to get our voice heard. Brian Delahunt is part of the New Jersey Baseball Coalition, which he says represents thousands of teams and sports related businesses. They've been circulating a petition online so youth baseball and softball can start again and develop guidelines to minimize risk that includes social distancing rules, dugout restrictions, and encouraging the use of face masks. The lifespan of youth baseball is a very short period, and we need to give this back to these kids. They need a victory here, and this is a mental victory we can give them, and it gives hope to everyone else, other sports, other kids that, hey, you know, your sport's coming. Governor Murphy says he won't set a timetable, but he's not ignoring the issue. You've got daycare, youth sports, summer camps, all of which are at a fever pitch in terms of putting together what we think are a responsible set of guidelines for folks. So please bear with us. We know there's a lot of demand for it. We're not sitting on our hands, I promise you, um, but we're not quite there yet. The Baseball Coalition says that they actually have a meeting with Governor Murphy's Deputy Chief of Staff this week where they hope to make their case. In Washington Township, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thanks.